Hey yo, what is going on guys? I see Wolf here and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make thumbnails in for how to make Kranka thumbnails in uh, 2021 so this video has been uh, you guys have been asking me to do this video for a while now uh, both in the comment section and in discord DM so I'm finally getting around to making this video uh, I'm gonna sh uh, first show you guys what I use to make my thumbnails what software uh, what effects where I get my render characters from and then I'm gonna actually make a thumbnail uh, live and uh, show you guys how I what I what all I do so the first thing that you need is Adobe Photoshop 2021 now I use the paid version which is what you should use but technically you could use a crack version I wouldn't recommend using it because your PC can uh, get a virus or something so I would recommend from refraining from doing so and just buying it it's not very expensive anyways so the main thing I use obviously Photoshop other than that I use uh, I have this folder right here uh, so this basically has a few effects that I use I only use this one uh, that's this pretty cool fire thing and this this also I rarely use not really for thumbnails per se uh, sometimes I use it and I change the blend mode to screen but we we'll get into that later uh, and this one actually not that one I use this one with and I remove the black stuff and use it that way uh, Other than that I use this one which you probably have seen in my thumbnails a lot This uh, other than that I don't use any other packs or effects people think that I use epix pack uh, People ask me that a lot in discord DMs. How do you make your thumbnails? Do you use epix pack? No, I don't use epix pack anymore when it first came out I use it for like three four months, but then uh, I don't need it anymore. So I don't use it so anyway in this video I'm going to be making a thumbnail and that is for somebody uh, called Joshua so he has replied uh, yeah so he wants me to make this thumbnail for him uh, one v one with uh, V O underscore 6B whatever it's a verified player so one v one with a verified player is the topic of this uh, thumbnail is the thumbnail that I'm going to be making uh, and yeah so the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is that I do uh, for every single thumbnail is host a game on the map that you want to make your uh, thumbnail on so i'm going to do it for shipyard because it's a 1v1 video and that is what the what joshua said that he wants the next thing that you want to do is you want to turn off your ui and make your resolution full now if you're wondering why i'm using microsoft edge in 2021 that's because i don't want to mess up my cranker settings on my other browsers so i just use this one specifically for taking screenshots and I don't use it for anything else. That is why. Uh, hold on here. Yeah. Okay, it's not messed up anymore. Uh, and take a screenshot. Uh, now that that's done, I'm gonna go to Photoshop. I'm gonna click Create New, and I'm gonna go ahead and create a project. So next thing you wanna do is paste your map screenshot. Once you've brought your thumbnail, once you've brought your map into Photoshop map screenshot, uh, what you want to do is you can press Ctrl M and that will pop up this graph. Now this is a pretty advanced Photoshop thing uh, to be honest. Uh, but it's pretty simple how it works, you just need to experiment. If you bring this down, it will make the image uh, a bit darker and if you bring this up, it will make it uh, more lighter. So just play around with these, don't like you know go crazy like something like that wait hold on like that don't, don't do something like that please uh just like slightly adjust it i like to do something like this uh maybe make it a bit darker and then a bit lighter like that so just play around with the curves that just makes the image uh more vibrant and more attractive next thing that i like to do is i like to get rid of the crunker sky since it's not very nice and it doesn't look good in thumbnails uh, so just use the magic wand tool you just press W and start selecting it uh, like that I have a clean selection now I just press backspace and now we move on to the next thing that I use for my Krunker thumbnails and that is a GFX launch now this is where I get all my Krunker characters from uh, I used to make them on my own a while ago but I don't do that anymore since they are really good ones available here and they are for public use so you know why would I make them on my own if they're here I do sometimes make them on my own. As you can see, I made this uh, three days ago, uh, and this uh, what like a month ago, more than a month actually, less than a month actually. So I sometimes make renders to give back to the server since it's helped me a lot with my thumbnails. 
and here also we're going to be going to design resources and there's a, a really clean sky screenshot over here that i need uh, so once you've pasted your the uh, sky screenshot uh it's really big it's like 4000 by something so just make it smaller so that it fits uh like that i need to stretch it a bit uh okay that looks oh my bad uh, okay that looks fine now just all you have to do is put it behind the map layer and looks pretty clean now i'm just gonna put them together hold shift select the other one and press ctrl e and i'm just gonna adjust the curves one last time with the map uh okay yeah that looks pretty good and now what you want to do is you want to go to filter blur and either galatian blur or motion blur whatever you want uh, i'm gonna do a three percent galatian blur for this uh once i've done this i either do the text first or the character so i'm gonna do the text first since adding the character is relatively pretty easy so there are a couple of fonts that i would recommend uh there's a gotham font uh there is the uh, luckiest guy font the FFF font is the Krunker font and then there's the Burbank big font Burbank big can send whatever it is just you know I'll put a couple of names in the description which you can look up and download for this video I'm going to use a Krunker font uh, and the title uh, so now what you do is you just type the title oh one sec I messed up the opacity that's my bad okay so once you type once you create a text layer you should see this weird thing all you have to do is press T Select it and delete it, and then just type in your title. Only running a uh, verified player. Simple. You can add an exclamation mark. Uh, once that's done, just make sure the text is big because remember thumbnails on a viewer screen are pretty small, so the text and the main things need to pop and be big. And the view only looks at it for like two, two or four or five seconds max, so you need to make sure that they can see it in the first go. Once that's done, uh, you want to go ahead and add a gradient overlay. Uh, this is just uh, a gradient overlay. Now, decide on a color scheme for your um, video before you start making it. I'm going to go with a green one because I've not done green in a while. So for the first color, you want to make it a darker one. And then for the second one, same color but a lighter shade like that. Uh, but you can see this text is still not popping. It's kind of... It's not visible enough. So to fix this, uh, you can add a stroke, two strokes. In fact, what I like to do is I like to add two strokes, one white and then one black, uh, one black and then one white, which uh, goes over it and it's a bit bigger. Or what you can do is you can add a drop shadow. Uh, that's also an option that looks pretty clean. Uh, you can also add an outer glow, but these work better uh, for different kind of text. For thumbnails, normally outer glow doesn't really go on the text. Uh, so yeah, you can experiment around with these four things, uh, three things, outer glow, uh, stroke and drop shadow. So for this video, I think I'm going to go with a drop shadow. Uh, in size, I might make a bit bigger. And then a nice stroke. For the, I think I'm going to edit the gradient once because I feel like it's a bit too dark. So I'm just going to push this uh, in front of it. And I might add an outer glow just to make it pop a little bit. Uh, nice green outer glow. Uh, it's not looking that good. Like I said, they don't look very good on thumbnails. So I might just remove it or I might leave it. Yeah, I'm probably going to remove it. Okay, so that's the text uh, that's done. Now you want to go ahead and choose a character. Like I said, if you choose a, a color scheme beforehand, you can just go ahead and choose a green character. So you want to head over to the... Uh, model uh model renders channel in gfx lounge there's a link in the description uh you can join and use find a render that you need or you want to use so i need a green one for this particular thumbnail good looking one but i'm going out of my way to find one you might remember i use this in my uh uh thank you for your support video uh, I'll put the thumbnail on the screen right now. Uh, you might remember that, might not. Anyhow, I'm going to be using the same render which I used in that video for this. Uh, okay, so there we go. I'm just going to put that in here. And make it a bit big like that. And...
then what I like to do next is I like to add an outer glow on the character generally the one that is of the text uh, layers color the text is color so that's green in this case uh, I'm still not really happy with the text I feel like it's not popping enough so I'm gonna change the uh, second color to make it a bit brighter because I feel like this is just too low like something like that yeah that's a bit better might change the font altogether because I've not used the crunk of font much uh, lately I don't know why what's this mm, this won't work this font is for animation it doesn't have all the letters might go with luckiest guy I've not used this one in a while yeah I'll probably go with this font uh, okay so that's done uh, now that that's done, we're basically gonna add more effects to make the thumbnail more attractive. And remember guys, that's the goal when you make a thumbnail, to make it attractive and visible and vibrant. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is, I'm gonna go to my Photoshop effects folder, right here. And I'm gonna go to light strokes and add, this, uh, spe add these speed lines. So you'll find a link of these in the description down below, just click on it and download it. Uh, they'll put it one layer ahead of the map screenshot layer and once that's done just press ctrl u and adjust the hue until you get the color that you want so that's green for this video uh, i'm gonna just make this a regular layer and i'm gonna blur this a bit more since i don't think it's blurred enough i'll maybe add a motion blur i'm gonna add a screenshot from the crunker texture viewer So as you guys can see, I'm done with this thumbnail. It's one year earning a verified player, uh, VO underscore 6P. And I made this for Joshua. Uh, we've got some text, speed lines, uh, a Mac background uh, versus sign. I've got a cool outfit here with the verified check mark and both of the usernames on top. Uh, the text is visible. It's vibrant. It's pretty attractive, I'd say and it's now so now i'm gonna do a, a couple of la uh, final touch finishing touches which i like to do uh, so i select the map layer uh, go to lens correction custom and just put the vignette down to zero just just makes it look a bit cleaner in my opinion uh, then i just go down to the select the first layer hold shift select the last layer combine all of them and then just change the curves one last time to make it more vibrant and saturated uh, like that a bit less so yeah that uh, is how I make my thumbnails uh, if you guys don't want to do all this I've mentioned this before many times you can just ask me to make it uh, I'll put a link of my Behance in the description I make these thumbnails for uh, 500 to 1000 kya which is really cheap I've asked other top designers who uh charge like five thousand or ten thousand kr and they told me that i should up my prices but so right now i am not upping my prices because uh i i'm gonna keep them uh, at 500 to 1000 for now maybe later I'll change them but for now they are really cheap so and i get i've earned like tw uh, 27 000 crunkies which is basically thirty thousand crunkies in the last month 
uh, from thumbnails alone so you can also ask me you can just dm me on discord and i'll make the thumbnail for you and yeah guys that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed and i hope you learned something from this video if you did make sure you leave a like and share this share this with one of your friends and i'll see you in the next one